Buzz with Jess Lujan. We're back to Main Studio guests, of course, former Senator Marilyn Manabusan. We're talking about, of course, the, uh, the amendment to the Organic Act in regards to, uh, again, pay raises. Now, I think we, we agree that, uh, that we should have a law in place, and, and basically we do. But I don't agree that we need federal intervention into this. And, and Senator, let me ask you this, because the, basic, the, the bigger picture with this is, 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 is this. We are in pursuit of our political destiny. That's right. The, the deciding what our political status may be, statehood, free association, or independence. There, there are going to be educational processes uh, going on to, to, to hopefully vote on this in 2017, I think that is, mm -hmm. that the governor is, is looking at this. Now, if we're mature enough, if in one token we say we're mature enough to decide residency for people running for office, if we're mature enough to have this education process and ask Congress for some money to help this education process to dis establish our own destiny. Now, if I was sitting in Congress and you're telling me how mature you are to want your own form of government, and you're coming to me and said, can you uh, amend this federal doctrine, mm -hmm. your, your constitution basically, um, because you guys don't trust your lawmakers, amend this thing and make it a federal doctrine, um, that means you're immature of this. And this is a mustard seed compared to a big picture of a political destiny. destiny. Yes. And I'm going, huh? And this is dangerous because how do we, how do we pursue our self-determination process, mm -hmm. our uh, decolonization process? Mm -hmm. if, we, if we give this resolution mm -hmm. to Congress and say, well, we cannot even handle our own salaries, mm -hmm. they're, they're going to say, well, you know, let me see what else you cannot handle. Mm -hmm. Let me see what you can, yeah. You cannot handle your uh, elective uh, governorship anymore mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because you cannot determine your own salaries mm -hmm. and their own value, mm -hmm. what else? Mm -hmm. So the danger is even if you propose a, an amendment to Congress, nothing can stop one member of the House or one member of the Senate to change that language. Mm -hmm. And we don't have control over That's that. Right. They can amend They can they amend, can this, amend yeah. sure. the language that we are proposing. Sure. There is no need. The good senator, Senator St. Nicholas, in his bill, mm -hmm. in his Bill 433, uh, mm -hmm. proposed an amendment to the Guam Code mm -hmm. that says, uh, and I'll read it, that no law, and it's a new section of the Guam Code. And he says he was going to um, add a new section that would allow a public hearing for elected officials that they may not be waived. That was one, mm -hmm. one uh, composition, one language. The other one was the language, which is the 27th Amendment, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that says no law varying the compensation for the services of the governor of Guam, the lieutenant governor of Guam, and or senators in the Guam legislature shall take effect mm -hmm. until a general election for the Guam legislature shall have intervened. What's wrong with that? You can amend the Guam code right mm -hmm. now. Sure. And, and what I wanted to say was this issue of the um, compensation of public employees was mm -hmm. never a federal issue. No, of course not. The, the, the compensation. The didn't want it to be an yes. issue. The compensation of public employees was addressed in the original government code mm -hmm. by our own Guam legislature. The first Guam legislature mm -hmm. enacted public law 1-088, November 29, 1952. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the new code for the compensation of public employees. They did not say, oh, we just got the Organic Act passed, 1950, mm -hmm. and here we are sitting in 1952. I think we need help. We need federal intervention. No. And what that signified is that our first Guam legislature said we are capable, able, mm -hmm. and we have every mm -hmm. right to exercise this authority, mm -hmm. and more so, we have faith. Mm -hmm. They had faith in themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The walkout was, was a demonstration that said we have faith to determine and if we are crippled by our own mistakes, we can get up again. Guam and the people of Guam are so resilient. How many times have we survived typhoons? Mm -hmm. right? That's right? 
and we are blessed. But to say we don't, not, we do not have faith in our in mm -hmm. our own mm -hmm. people to determine the value uh, of of our own senators. But yet you say you can, you can allow me to vote, but then you cannot allow me to say you are entitled to be compensated at this mm -hmm. amount mm -hmm. and to relinquish that right Relinquish's to right. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm is a defiance mm -hmm. of our process for self-determination. And, that, and that's the, the bigger thing it is, is the relinquishing that right, again, to, to people, again, that oversee, again, the United States, and which you're a part of, that we didn't put into place. Exactly. And, and even our delegate, uh, again, um, does not have a right to vote. I mean, not even the committee, I think, at, at, at this point, right? And so, um, <laughs> When, when it comes up, when we do decide, when we do decide our political destiny and the choices we want, even then, we're going to have to go to these people who, again, we had no, uh, we had no um, uh, voting rights for to, to, to put them in office or to take them out of office. We're going to have to present them with our desire yes. and say, this is, I mean, so they're going to look at it. If, and if I was, they didn't know too much, I'll Google Guam and latest things in Guam and things like that. So, oh, you want to be this, you want to be this, you want you voted for this. But you had a, an amendment two years ago that said you weren't mature enough. Uh, so I don't know if you're quite ready there, This uh, could Senator. be a joke. This yeah, could be yeah. a joke in mm -hmm. the national, international arena, mm -hmm. all right? There's another that we go over to, Guam. <laughs> yes, that we go over to, to the United States mm -hmm. Congress mm -hmm. and you subject the salaries of our elected leaders and public employees, mm -hmm. because this also involves other public employees, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and you subject it to mm -hmm. the uh, public hearing in the United mm -hmm. States Congress. Mm -hmm. So do we take a family issue like that mm -hmm. in our own neighborhood, in our own land, mm -hmm. and say uh, representatives in Kansas, mm -hmm. representatives in Mississippi, in Virginia, Virginia, can you evaluate whether these mm -hmm. leaders really deserve these salaries? I, I actually, Senator, as well with this, right? I mean, and this is to the U.S. federal constitution, of course, right? Now, every state has its own constitution, okay? So every state, and because you have your representatives to Congress, your two senators to Congress, mm -hmm. right? But you also have your state senators, okay? Your state senators, your state elected officials, and every state has their constitution. Their state constitution that governs their state officials, their elected state officials, their, their document is not, uh, it, 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 they, they're not surrendering their salaries to the federal, the, the, the federal doctrine, the federal document, okay? Their constitution is what guides them. Protects them. Pr protects them. Yes. Yeah, they're not saying, we need federal intervention because yeah. our local constitution, and the reason why I'm relating this is because. Because the 27th yeah, yeah. Amendment did not have anything to That's do right. with state senators. No, nope, not at all. Right. And we're, we are looked at as state senators. Right. Yeah. So, so we mm -hmm. are a state in the sense of, mm -hmm. of having to identify sure, sure. the political reality, sure, the sure. realm of government, sure, right? Sure, sure. So why are we now? Why are we so Surrendi. unique? Why is Guam so unique to say, I mean, it is embarrassing mm -hmm. to actually say we cannot determine this, yeah. that we cannot, if we cannot, we do not know how to uh, value the worth of our elected mm -hmm. leaders, mm -hmm. but guess what? We are the ones that elected them. Yeah. Why would you surrender that? I. That's my question. That, I mean, that, why would question. why would anyone want to amend the Organic Act and come in with congressional review for something as domestic and territorial? Remember, they're they're always saying this is federal territorial relations, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So there's a demarcation of what's federal and that's what's right. territorial. Mm -hmm, right. Do you consider salaries as federal? Absolutely not. I mean, the only federal salary that we're dealing with right now in regards to one of our elected officials, of course, our delegate to Congress. And that's determined by the Fed because she's, in, she's elected, uh, locally elected, but paid for by the federal government. Now, if that's the case, then... And, and, <laughs> and here again, isn't okay, the message is a resounding message if we mm -hmm. pursue this route. Mm -hmm. The message is more than just uh, evaluating our senator's salaries. The mm -hmm. message is somebody, even if this resolution did not get passed, there may be one member of, of either the House or the Senate Nothing that says, you know what, I really don't like the way Guam mm -hmm. is doing their own mm -hmm. self-government, mm -hmm. and I'm going to amend their Organic Act my way. Yeah. 
Because guess what? The organic act is not, was not introduced by. You're, it, you're, yeah. you're opening up uh, again a whole can of worms in this thing. I got to pay some bills. Okay. We'll, we'll come back. Uh, we're going to have. We hope so. This is, this is right so back. nice. Be right back.